Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggins and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a difficult day in Toyland. Noddy had left his car at Mr. Sparks' garage to be mended, and he was feeling sad without it. Hello, Noddy. Oh, Master Tubby Bear, it's you. Oh, I know it is. You look fed up. I am. Oh, your face is as long as one of my father's bean poles. Well, I don't care. I've had to leave my car at the garage, so I won't be able to drive anybody around, and I shan't earn any money, and I can't do anything useful for people. But you can be useful. You can help my mother. Can I? She's hurt her back, bending down to pick up my toys, and she says, would you mind popping in and out to see if she needs anything? I'd love to. Of course I'll pop in and out. I'll do as much popping as she wants me to. It's very kind of you to help me, Noddy. Would you please take Master Tubby to the farm? Mr and Mrs Straw are going to let him play there for the day. Be quiet, Master Tubby. Mrs Straw has promised to give me a good hen to lay fresh eggs for breakfast. Would you bring it back for me? Don't stop it. I'm talking to Noddy. Mrs Straw says I can have six eggs until our own hen starts to lay. So would you bring them back in that basket, please? Yes, I'll pop straight to the farm and I'll pop back as quickly as... Ow, ow! Oh, Master Tubby! Hello, Nolly Miller. I see you brought... You've brought Master Tubby for the day. Hello, Mr and Mrs Straw. Now then, Master Tubby, you go away. Go away and play. Oh, yes. Thank you. I will. Mrs Tubby asked me to collect a hen and some eggs. Well, now. That's the end. That's the end for Mrs. Tubby. She looks quite a friendly hen. Oh, she is friendly. So long as... So long as you're another hen. If I were you, I should... I should collect the eggs first. Good idea, Mrs. Straw. You can go and... Go and look in the nests. They're over... There. Hello, hen. Have you any eggs there? My, what lovely eggs. You clever hen, you've laid six eggs. Just what I want. Oh, don't. I can't just leave them in your nest, you know. Eggs have to be taken away and eaten for breakfast. There. Now to collect Mrs. Tubby's hen. You must come with me, hen. But how do I take a live hen home? Oh, I know. I'll use this stick. I shall make you walk in front of me, just like Mr. Straw with his cows. <laughs> Why can't you walk in a straight line? <laughs> Stop doing that, will you? Stop it! <laughs> At this rate, we shan't get to Mrs. Tubby's by bedtime. <laughs> now just you stay there, Hen, in the garden. Noddy, are you all right? Noddy, I just popped back with your eggs, Mrs. Tubby. You look worn out. I walked from the farm with your new hen, but she zigzagged all the way. Oh, Noddy, oh dear. You should have tucked the hen under your arm and held her there. That's the way to do it. Yes, I'll tuck things under my arm next time. Would you like me to pop out for anything else? Well, I do need some ice cream. Oh, then I'll go to the cafe right away. I do want to be helpful, you know. Oh, oh dear me. He's forgotten the basket. Oh, I say, Noddy, is that huge box of ice cream all for you? <laughs> Are you trying to make yourself sick? No, Martha Monkey, I'm not. It isn't for me, it's for the tubby bears. <laughs> You'll never carry that huge box all the way home. I shall. I shall tuck it under my arm and hold it there. That's the way to do it. Hello, Mrs Tubby. 
Are you feeling better? A little better, thank you. I've popped back with your ice cream. I'm looking forward to that. Would you be kind enough to put it in my bowl, Noddy? I'll try. I'm very sorry. The ice cream seems to have melted when it was tucked under my arm. Oh, oh, oh Noddy, you should have taken my basket and carried the ice cream safely in there. That's the way to do it. Yes, I'll use a basket next time. Now, I promised to look after Bumpy Dog while Tessie Bear's away for a few days. I wonder if you'd have time to bring him here. Oh, yes, Mrs Tubby. I've always got time to help. I'll pop to Tessie Bear's house right away. Now, where did I put that basket? <laughs> Bumpy Dog, stop! Wait! Stop running around! I'm supposed to carry you in the basket. <laughs> Mrs. Tubby says so. There. That's the way to do it. <laughs> What's that noise? Noddy? What's going on? I did just as you said, Mrs. Tuppy. I popped all the way from Tessie Bear's house with Bumpy Dog in your basket. <laughs> oh, Noddy! Take it off his head this minute. <laughs> Oh, Bumpy Dog, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> you should have tied a string to him like this. That's the way to do it. Yes, I'll use some string next time. Now then, Bumpy Dog, I'm afraid I've got no bones for you. I'll pop out and get some bones. Oh, thank you, Noddy. I wonder why he's taken my string. I say, Noddy, that's a very skinny dog you're taking for a walk. It's not a dog at all, Martha Monkey. It's a bundle of bones for Bumpy Dog. <laughs> but why are you pulling them along with string? Because this is the way to do it. Ah, oh, you pretty little things. I've popped back, Mrs Tubby. I got the bones for Bumpy Dog and brought them home on the end of your string. But as soon as Bumpy Dog smelt them, he pounced on me and bit through the string. Oh, Noddy, you should have wrapped the bones in a newspaper and carried it. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yes, I'll use newspaper next time. What's that funny noise? The little baby chicks, look. They hatched out of the eggs you brought from the farm. Goodness! I thought eggs were meant to be eaten for breakfast. Well, you do know chicks come out of eggs, don't you? Where did you find them? They were under a very kind hen. Fancy taking eggs from under a sitting hen. Oh, wasn't she cross? Well, she did pet me. Poor Noddy. You were only trying to help. I'm afraid you'll have to take them back to the farm. And perhaps you could bring Master Tubby back home for his tea. Oh, yes, I will. I want to help. There, she'll be. She'll be happy now. And I dare say... I dare say it's time for Master Tubby to go home. Yes, I promised I'd take him. Oh. And I've brought a newspaper. A, a new newspaper? Now, <laughs> Noddy, are you sure this is the way to do it? Of course it is. Your mother told me so. <laughs> It'd be easier if you'd carry me. Certainly not. You're far too big. I've missed my little car today, but I've learnt so many different ways to carry things. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings.